Hello everybody, in this video we're going to make a Picador or a game show program. Alright, here we go. So this is what this program looks like in Scratch. It asks me which door I want, I say one, two, three, or four, and depending on which door I pick, it shows me a different prize. Here's how the same program looks in Python. In some ways it's even easier to program it in Python, but we don't get the cool graphics. Alright, so I'm starting here with the instructions and the starter code. This is the video you're watching here. Here is the program run. I will update these links at some point. I'm going to speed through this because you've already seen me do this before. First thing you do is you add this file into your own REPL. So you copy and paste the file name. You go into your REPL, click add files. You paste it in where it says your name here. Replace that with your name. Then we go to step two. We copy and paste these instructions into your code. So we do control A, select all, control C, copy, control V, paste. And for the rest of the time, we're just going to stay in your REPL not the REPL with the starter code. Next, we point REPL to use this file. So we go to the three dots, show hidden file, select show hidden files, go to the REPLit file, edit the entry point, have it point to the file you just added. So now we go back to the new file we made. We made a quick print test, we run it. And if it prints out, we know our setup is good. So I'm just gonna follow the directions here, which say create four variables, prize one, prize two, prize three, prize four, and set their values equal to four different string prizes. So I create a variable and I give it a value by saying variable is equal to the value. I want to have good variable names, remember? So prize one, prize two, that's a good variable name because it tells me exactly what it is. First one, prize one equals to apple. Second one, prize two equals banana. You see here's a mistake. The color is a little bit different. It's not in quotations. If it's not in quotations, it's a variable. There is no variable banana and so that would break. So I have to be sure to do this right. Prize two is equal to the string banana and you see the color is different which gives you hints. Next, we're going to do the part where we ask the user for a number between 1 and 4. Remember, to ask a question, we use variable is equal to input question. So I'll do that right now. And I want that variable to be a good variable name. A good variable name, which describes what it is, would be number. There are other good ones, but that's what I picked. Now you want to remember that even though we're saying it's a number, because it's coming out of input, it's going to be a string. The variable number has a string value. So my comparisons need to be strings too. So as I'm doing this next step, using if else, print out the number, it's going to be if number equals equals string number. Because remember, types matter, and I need to make sure the types are the same. I'll print out that I won this prize one. In this example, I'm going to use f strings. You can also use concatenation. It doesn't matter. If instead of string comparison, I want to do integer comparison, I need to cast number to an integer first. So I'll do number equals to int number. And what that does is you do the right side first. Int number is instead of string 5, it's integer 5. And so the new value of number is int 5. And then I change my comparison after that to do an integer comparison. All right, so then I test it. When I run it, I type the number 1. It says I want an apple or I want a apple. But that works as I expect. All right, so now we want to continue. The instructions say use an if, elif, and an else. So I will do that. Remember, when you're only picking one thing, you want to use an if, elif, elif, elif. Not an if, 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 if. So elif number equals to two. I'm just going to continue what I was doing. And remember why. It's because if I have if, 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 I'm checking that Boolean expression every single time, and that's going to be inefficient. So this, once I match one, I'm out of here. I'm not going to keep on going. So in this case, if I match one, if I said, if the person types in one, it's going to print out you won prize one and not check whether number is equal to two, which is more efficient. So I just tested my elif. That looks good. Let's try to autograde it and see how it goes. So I'm going to click on the three dots next to my file, download, save. I'm going to go to autograding website, which is drwovideos autograderhirokuappcom Its link is in the description below. I will select the lab I'm grading. I'll upload my file, and here's my result. Looks pretty good. I have a variable prize one. I have a variable prize two. I don't have variable prize three or four, but that's okay. I haven't done it yet. If I have questions on what I'm doing, I click the link, and it takes me to some helps. I have a question about which door to pick. I have an if. I don't have an else. I haven't done that yet. I have one elif, but not three, so I don't score this point. The test cases work, and all that means is if I type in one to the question, it prints out the first prize, and it does. So for one and two, it works as we tested, but three and four does not, because we haven't done that yet. We also haven't done the else yet, so 
where it says you need to have something that prints wrong input. Well, we haven't done that yet, so that's not going to work either. All right, for the rest, I think you can finish it yourself. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.